Oh my God, he broke up with you out of the blue. This is a horrible dating situation to find yourself in. I have 10 strategies to give you to get you through this really emotionally challenging time. I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn and for over a decade I have been working coaching men and now women how to find happiness in their dating life. So believe me, I've spoken to a lot of guys through this process and I'm gonna be sharing with you ways that you can just start to feel better right now. First of all, I want you to just accept that you're gonna to need to take some time for this. Often when someone surprises us out of the blue, it's extremely disorientating and you're gonna really start to kind of maybe even doubt your own instincts towards how you saw that relationship. Remember, you are gonna feel better in time, but just accept right now and give yourself some space to not feel amazing. Second thing, also accept and forgive yourself. You might find yourself questioning and thinking like, why did I not see that coming? Or why did I let that thing go and he didn't let it go? Don't enter into that self-judgment and blame. This is so not the time for it. You've got to be your own best supporter and fan. We all get caught out by stuff like this and blindsided. Sometimes we see things differently to the other person. You are just having a normal human response to a difficult situation. Thirdly, make sure that you accept him at his word. Don't try to question or push or get him to take you back or wonder if there's a reason that you could somehow repair things. Hell no, you will regret that in three months time. Instead, just take him at his word, even if his excuse is rubbish, even if he doesn't feel confident enough in himself to really give you a clear and justified response, even if he's breaking up with you for reasons that you think are utterly like, what? Accept him at his word, because the point is, from your perspective, whether you think his reasons are bogus or not, he's still not showing up for you in the way that you need. He's not giving you that support, willingness to build a relationship and all those amazing things that you thoroughly deserve. So regardless of what his excuse is, look at the objective fact, he's not showing up for you, so it's time to let it go. Point four, I know this is challenging, but closure is a one-sided process. This means that whilst the movies always show two people sitting down over brunch and like talking it through and coming to a clear resolution, this isn't actually how stuff goes down in real life. Like a lot of the time people are left with unknowns, they're left with questions that are unanswered, and there is a real lack of clarity. And all you have to remember is that closure is a one-sided process. The closure comes because he is not showing up for you as a ready, willing, and available partner, and that is all that you need to know. So moving on to some techniques to get you feeling better about yourself and look after yourself during this period. And by the way, if you're liking the advice so far, you can check out more advice for women by getting some free videos by going to the link below this video. Okay, so point number five, things not to do. Do not post on social media. It's gonna be really tempting to put up either a hot picture or like an I'm going out and I'm fine, having the best time ever picture or the sullen facing off into the sunset picture. Don't do that. Don't give anyone that satisfaction. Instead, st for starters, forget social media for now. Who cares? It's only like Instagram or YouTube. Let's just leave that. Uh, and instead, let's get you really focused on what's gonna make you feel good. So don't feel the need to project a strong image to the outside world. Instead, just go quiet on social media. Bit of mystery is always better and this gives you time to heal. Point six, this also applies to not feeling the need to suddenly go out with your friends. I know you might have some really great girlfriends who are like, screw him, let's go out. And that is a fine thing to do. However, you want to be doing that at a time in your life where you are actually feeling good enough in yourself to do that. If you feel like actually you're not at that phase yet, you're in the kind of um, duvet and hang out and eat pizza phase, again, give yourself a break. That is perfectly fine. Point seven, don't date immediately. This is foolish. Uh, a lot of the time people might, the, on the other side of the breakup, he might be like, yes, I'm single again. Time to go out and have the best time ever. Literally fast forward a month, he's gonna realize how difficult it is to date and to meet people that he connects with like you. Instead, it is so much better for you to take that emotional processing time and not push yourself too soon. The old idiom of the best way to get under someone over someone is to get under someone else. It's just rubbish. Like that doesn't ever make anyone feel better. It just makes you compare what you have today to what you had in the past. 
So don't feel the need to force things or rush things on that front. Everything will come back to normal in its own time. Tip eight, clear your headspace. Um, don't get sucked into creeping on someone's profiles online. Don't allow the temptation to continue to message someone. Hide the number, delete the number, give the number to a friend, get rid of it, rename it in your phone. Do what you need to do so the temptation isn't there. Also, you don't need to be dramatic and unfollow unless it was a really rough breakup, but you may wanna hide their profile and their stories and just generally, just don't use social media for a bit because everything you see, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what are they up to? What are they doing? Who's that? Whose foot is that in their picture? You don't need to abjectly torture yourself. So make sure you keep a clear headspace and for now, just remove any physical reminders of them in your life. Point nine, remember that with this space in your life, it's gonna feel really daunting and really overwhelming to begin with, but space is good. If you've a bit of space and a bit of emptiness, that is gonna be filled very soon with new hobbies and new interests and new people coming into your life. So in the meantime, if there was something that you've always wanted to do, say there was a hobby that you never had time for or a place you wanted to travel to but felt like you should really stay home with the boy, this is a golden time for you to go out there and to really experience it. Uh, when I was single, I did tons of traveling solo. It was one of the best things like I've ever done in my life. It was so much fun and so rewarding. So when you're in the right frame of mind, you can take up an awesome hobby. You can go out there and do some amazing things. Point 10 is of course to remember that this too shall pass. Honestly, in the passage of time, whether that's one month, two months, three months, that you're gonna look back on this and it's not gonna be anywhere near as important to you as it is today and you have to remember that. Also, if those months have passed and it is still really important to you, I would suggest that maybe you are interested or hanging on to the image of someone and what they represent to you in your mind versus who they actually were in that relationship. So don't be afraid sometimes of writing down a good list of all the reasons why you guys should not be together. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you a pep talk because actually coaching and supporting women is super important to me. If you wanna watch other videos of women's dating advice while I answer some really tricky questions from women, you can check out my other videos in this series and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.